Residents in Cottesloe have had their say on plans to build an ocean pool at Cottesloe Beach. Its backers hope the pool will protect swimmers against sharks. Others, though, aren't convinced. It's been discussed for over a decade. Now plans for a beach pool at one of our most iconic beaches is gaining momentum. Um, I'm a lap swimmer and um, very, very interested in this whole concept. Last night, more than 100 residents had their say on the proposal. Tucked in next to the groin, the pool would be 75 metres long and 25 metres wide. It'll cost about $2 million, supported by public and private funding. Good concept, but um, lots of other questions. Gives people a choice if they are frightened of sharks. But some say Cottesloe Beach isn't big enough and claim a pool would ruin the look of the area. We've got about three or 400 metres of, of Cottesloe Beach and they want to take another hundred of it. There'll be more public consultation before the plan is submitted to council. And Estelle Lewis is at Cottesloe Beach this morning with the man who wants to build the ocean pool. Estelle, it appears the pool is gaining more support after recent shark attacks in WA. It does, Tim, that's right. And I'm joined by the man behind the project, Tom Locke. Uh, now, Tom, you've been working on this for 14 years and you, you witnessed the tragic shark attack on Ken Crew. What inspired you to get this project up and running? Well, it was a Ken Crew attack. Uh, I was here on the beach, just, just down there. Um, I'd seen a previous attack. In fact, I dialed triple O. You know, when I saw it, I thought it was a crocodile at first. Couldn't believe my eyes. Um, down at the Dutch Inn there where I live. Um, I never thought I'd see anything like that again. Uh, I thought there was someone having a heart attack on the beach at first and then I, I found out. Uh, then I spoke to a fellow called Don Morrison, who's really the godfather of this pool. Don swam at this beach, loved it, knew every grain of sand on it, uh, won many Australian championships training off it. Um, I asked him about it and he said, yeah, let's, let's do it. So we started and then a big fellow called Tim Willoughby came on board chairman of the WA Olympic Council and um, he supported it. Unfortunately both of those chaps passed away. They were the two big reasons I couldn't let it go. Um, now I guess from last night's meeting where there, where there was a lot of invective thrown by local surfers but at the end of the meeting there was a young woman called Kathleen who's a disabled person. I had tears in my eyes when I, I had finished uh, hearing her speak and a lot of other people did too. Well, do you think this pool will help save lives? Oh, undoubtedly. Look, you have a look now. Sharks are saving lives. You count the swimmers out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's about seven. You go and count them around the ocean pools in, you know, Sydney where there's a hundred up and down the coast. Uh, well, sharks are saving lives now because no one will go swimming in the morning. But you put a pool in there, it'll be well used, as it is. Now, um big project with lots of people involved. Um, we've heard some say the beach isn't big enough. It'll, um, they're worried about how it'll change the look of the beach. Yeah. What are some of the biggest hurdles? Just quickly, um, the, the biggest hurdles you're facing here? Well, probably the two things that came out of last night was to be expected from me. One was you know, not in my backyard. I'm fine here. I'm all right, Jack. You'll always get that. You'll get about 20% of people that'll always follow that line. Um, the hall was full. Most of the people were silent, you know. But there was a group, I'd say about 20% that were dead against it. Um, and I think you'll find that in the general community. That's okay. one. Then the surfers, anything that is going to compromise or they, they imagine, they, they, they want to challenge the science. Jorg Berger, one of the best scientists in Australia, said let's go through this bit by bit with them. So all those arguments can be put aside. But Tom, we're running out of time. I'm yes. sorry, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll be watching this developer project with interest. Tim, it's back to you.